in the previous section we took questions where dy by dx was in homogeneous form that is dy by dx was a function of y by x now we are going to see questions that can be reduced to homogeneous form so initially they will not be in homogeneous form and with suitable substitution that question can be reduced to a homogeneous form and then we can solve that question just like the questions that were discussed in the previous section so the questions discussed in this section will be of the form dy by dx is equal to ax plus by plus c by a dash x plus b dash y plus c dash and one condition that should be met to solve this question using the steps discussed below is the ratio of the coefficients of x in the numerator and denominator that is a by a dash should not be equal to the ratio of the coefficients of y in the numerator and denominator that is b by b dash a by a dash should not be equal to b by d b dash the reason why a by a dash should not be equal to b b b by b dash will be discussed uh, can be shown uh, the reason why this method fails if this a by a dash is equal to b by b dash can be easily shown uh, once we discuss the steps so the first step is we use the substitution small x equal to capital x plus h and small y equal to capital y plus k so our new variables are capital x and capital y and we will have two new constants h and k we will choose the values of h and k so that once that substitution is made that values for h and k are given our new equation transforms to a homogeneous equation so we'll see how so let's call our given equation as equation 1 and our substitution equations as equation 2 now from 2 if you differentiate both sides with respect to x we can see that small d of small x is equal to d of capital x and d dy is equal to d of capital y or we can say that dy by dx is equal to d of capital y by d of capital x so that part doesn't change let's call that equation 3 now using 2 and 3 we can see that 1 becomes small dy by dx becomes d of sorry d of small y by d of small x becomes d of capital y by d of capital x and rhs becomes a of substituting x is equal to capital x plus h and y equal to capital y plus k we get a into capital x plus h plus b into capital y plus k plus c by a dash into capital x plus h plus b dash into capital y plus k plus c dash so further simplifying the equation becomes d of capital y by d of capital x is equal to a of capital x plus b of capital y plus a h plus b k plus c and a dash by a dash of x plus b dash of capital y plus a dash h plus b dash k plus c dash so let's call this new equation 4 if you observe nothing much has changed in this new equation but if we choose h and k such so that this a h plus b k plus c and a dash h plus b dash k plus c dash goes to zero our equation 4 will reduce to a homogeneous equation so for choosing h and k we will write two equation a, a h plus b k plus c equal to zero and a dash h plus b dash k plus c dash is equal to zero so these two equations has to we we should uh, we have two variables h and k and we have two equations 
and we should be able to solve these two equations to find the values for h and k. Let's call this equation 5. If you remember, we, we in the initial, uh, in, in the beginning, we said to solve this question using this method, a by a dash should not be equal to b by b dash. If, if a by a dash was equal to b by b dash, what would happen? These two equations becomes identical or second equation will become a multiple of the first equation and we will not be able to solve h and k from these two equations. That is the reason why this method fails if a by a dash is equal to b by b dash. So we assumed a by a dash is not equal to b by b dash. So we will be able to solve this. Uh, we can, if you, if you remember, we can use the formula h by so this constant into this b c dash minus b dash c. is equal to k by negative sign is there so instead we take a dash c minus a c dash is equal to so 1 by a b dash minus a dash b We will use this uh, to solve for H, H and K. We use this equation to solve. You don't have to buy hard this. It's just solving two variables with two equations. So just I wrote this to just show that if A by A dash was equal to B by B dash, this term A B dash minus A dash B a b dash minus a dash b becomes zero and you will not be able to solve this. So that is the reason why this should not be equal to a by a dash should not be equal to b by dash, b dash to find suitable values for h and k. So once this condition is met, we will have solutions for h and k and plugging it in becomes makes equation for a homogeneous equation. Once uh, why is this homogeneous equation? If we d divide numerator and denominator by capital X, we will see that dy by dx is a function of capital Y by capital X. So it is a homogeneous function. So, uh, so we will be able to solve this question just like the questions that were discussed in the previous section. And once we solve the question and get the final answer, we substitute capital X for small x minus h and capital Y for small y minus k. So the final answer will be in terms of small x and small y only. So these are the steps we, we follow to solve questions of this form. If anyone has any confusion or doubt, once you start solving questions, this will become very simple and straightforward. You will have a better understanding then. So these are the steps. And from next video onwards, we'll start taking questions that can be solved using these steps that are equations that are reducible to homogeneous form.